Hey kids, time for another classic Scooby-Doo mystery. <clears throat> Today's story is the Mix-Up Museum. <clears throat> Scooby and the gang must be wandering around Velma's favorite place. The Museum of Natural History. They were in the Great Dinosaur Hall. Large dinosaur skeletons peered down at them as a crowd of people oohed and awed. Look at that, Velma exclaimed. A real Brachiosaurus skeleton. Amazing, Fred said. Royce, Scooby said. The Brachiosaurus looked too real for Scooby and Shaggy. They knew everything in the museum was only bones and life-size animal figures, but they still decided to leave that place to get some grub. Now, Shaggy looked around. No, let's see, I found a... Security guard. Like, where's the best place to chow down? He asked him. The cafeteria is that way, the guard said. He waves at mm, his arm. Mm, see the points behind him and knocked over a sign. Oops, I have new glasses and I'm still getting used to them. But I can lead, lead you to the cafeteria. I have to go there to start closing the museum. A few minutes later... Shaggy and Scooby had emptied the salad bar, the soda machines, and everything in between. <laughs> Typical. Like, I get why Velma likes the museum so much, now Shaggy said, munching on a juicy tomato. This food is delicious. But their feast was interrupted as the cafeteria lights as he began flickering. Then shouts started echoing around him. Something was happening. Come on, Scoob, Shaggy said, dropping his fork. Let's find our friends and get out of here! <laughs> Scooby and Shaggy raced back to the dinosaur hall. When they arrived, they found that chaos had erupted in the room. People were screaming and pointing at the dinosaur skeletons. Now, Scooby and Shaggy soon learned why. Mm. Let's see. The Brachiosaurus skeleton swung its mighty head and snapped its jaws. One leg moves, and then another. It's alive! A boy shouted. Everyone ran in fright. Don't panic, Velma yelled, trying to calm the crowd. There has to be a logical explanation for this. Just then, a shadow fell over the gang. The dinosaur roared right above their heads. Run! Fred shouted. Whoever's behind this mystery, they're sure making it look rather convincing. Get the feeling there's something, though. They raced out of the dinosaur hall and found themselves in a room full of animals. The elephants raised their trunks and stomped their feet. The whole museum had come to life. Jinkies, Velma said, looking at the display. What is going on here? It looks like we have a mystery to solve, Fred said. But we can't hang around, Shaggy insisted. It's closing time, like, let's go! Fred, Velma, and Daphne stopped in front of a gorilla exhibit. The gorillas were swinging for vines of vine, but they had stayed aside their display. In fact, none of the animals in the museum had left their displays. Even the dinosaurs had to follow the gang outside their hall. I think we're safe here, Fred said to the skeptical Scooby and Shaggy. Robert, right, Scooby protested. Now, he and Shaggy no, tried, to, tried, to, tried to leave again. Let's roll! Now, what do you say for a Scooby snack? Daphne asked. Just then a loud howl no, filled the air. Scooby shook his head. How about two Scooby snacks? Asked Velma. They had a deal. Great, Fred said. Now, let's look for clues. Maybe the security guard can help us. Okay, you're sure to say museum and not a zoo? Mm. Just a thought. Mm. An observation. Shaggy and Scooby led the way down a long and dark hallway to the security guard's office. With every step, they heard a strange animal sounds. Then they heard a loud moan coming from behind a door with a keep out sign on it. That noise is a scary jungle beast, Shaggy yelped. He and Scooby tried to run away, but Fred, Velma, and Daphne pushed him and Nessie toward the door. A sign one that says to keep out and like, no, see, that's what I want to do, Shaggy said. Taking the lead, Velma swung the door open and found a security guard. 
It was the museum's control room. What's going on in here? Velma asked. Well, the security guard said, I came in here to close down the museum, but I can't see it very well. I'm afraid I pressed all the wrong buttons and said can't quite get it right. Oh. With some help from the gang, the guard quickly fixed everything and the museum grew quiet. Let's see, then came a long, a loud rumble. Everyone jumped. That's just Scooby's tummy, that Shaggy said. Hey, can you flip one switch back on? The lights for the cafeteria. Let's see, the gang laughed. Mm, we see as mm, mm, Scooby and Shaggy stared mm, longingly let's see, at the video of it on the security screen. Even a dinosaur couldn't scare away their appetites. <laughs> the end.